Hey there, this is Tim from Twice Circled, and welcome to episode 9 of the official Mega Aquarium video blog. In today's episode, I have two cool new features to show you. One of them is staff priorities, the other one is, I'm going to call them staff zones. You know what I'm like with my non clementure I uh, uh, basically say I'm going to call it one thing and then end up calling it something else for the rest of the, uh, the video. <laughs> so let's, let's not be too strict. Um, and I've got a load of other little sm small things that I'm going to show you. Uh, we're going to return to our existing aquarium from a couple of weeks ago. And uh, yeah, these are slightly new. So uh, I talked about in the last uh, non-technical video all about my gripes and my grumbles. And I've had a couple of weeks now to put some of those things uh, right. So one of the things is I've got rid of that tank UI um, uh, as a kind of big square which was kind of always visible, and have replaced it with these little bubbles, which are context sensitive, just like I said I was going to. Uh, and this makes them very consistent with the task bubbles. So essentially it's just, you know, these bubbles show you that stuff, uh, stuff that requires your attention. Um, like, you know, something needs to be done here, or uh, something's kind of going wrong with the, the tank chemistry. So you've got some examples just here. Um, for example here you can see the size only appears when it's overcrowded uh, you get the little nine red so it's clear and um, if you hover over it you actually get a little bit of information so I, I really like this because I'm really keen this time round as opposed to with Big Pharma to have a, a tutorial which is quite uh, self-led Big Pharma had a kind of quite solid uh, and when I say solid, I mean kind of like difficult to get into, kind of wall of text style tutorial. And, you know, it told you the basics. And if you went through it, yeah, yeah, you're probably just about now to play the game if that's if you're happy with learning from a wall of text. But I know a lot of people aren't. And uh, I think this sort of thing's really nice. So it's like, look, you play the game, you play the game, and then this comes up and it's like, ah, oh, this tank is overcrowded. Are you using the... That's a little smiley face, if you can't see. Happiness of the animals. Uh, what did I call it? Mood? Happiness? Told you I'm off with the uh, nomenclature. Um, so, uh, <laughs> what a mood I think I'm meant to be calling it. Look, look, this is why I called it smiley face, because if I don't give it, I don't have to give it a name if I always use the icon. Haha! -ha, I've outfoxed even myself. Try migrating some of them to a bigger tank, right? So, so I might change this, but hopefully you can get an idea of what I'm getting at, is this idea of a little bubble appears when something is maybe not quite right and you can ignore it you know um, but it gives you some information uh, about it so here we have low water quality is reducing the smiley face of animals in this tank water quality is steady uh, if, if the water quality is changing then it would say you know, the water quality will be this amount in however much time so yeah as I discussed in the last in vlog two weeks ago this only appears, the water quality one only appears if it's affecting the happiness. So we go in here and we can see that, I think it's these guys, the uh, clownfish, um, they have a, they need a water quality of 65 compared to the uh, the damsel, this, well, they're all damsels, the uh, chromis here, which has a, needs a water quality of 60. So basically these are both, uh, well, in fact, oh, and this one actually, it's because of the tank, which re requires a water quality of 70. So it's kind of, it only tells you when you really need to, and then you go, well, what am I going to do about that? Uh, given that neither of our tanks are currently blocked, which is one way of increasing the water quality, uh, we'd actually have to increase it by adding some additional filtering. Um, so if we turn this around, we might kind of have a little look. Um, this one could actually fit a couple of extra rocks in it. Let's try stuffing some more rocks in. Oh, is there something there? Mm, no, that's probably just a bug. Okay, I have to try and remember that. That's probably something to do with this this long one at the end. I've, I've probably got some kind of weird thing wrong with the way, the way it rotates. It doesn't really matter. Uh, anyway, that's increased the biological filtering a little bit. Now this is, now the new estimated water quality here is 66%. It'll reach it in six hours, and that means that these will actually be fine. So that's all we need for this one. This one's already full, so uh, it kind of needs a better filter, and I think we've already got one of our better filters. We can unlock this filter. We've got loads. Right, let's do it. We got loads and loads of points. Yeah, the point you get so many points uh, now, kind of like way more than you need. We can use this on a new tank, but we'll, we'll do that expansion later when I've shown some other um, 
things. For now, I'm just going to go crazy and just whack this massive filter on. Uh, now this thing... Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, that was quite cool. I want to show you that. So when you select a filter, um, you get, again, context-sensitive information. I like the way this looks. I hope you guys do. Um, I don't know. At a glance, one might think this looks a bit messy, but actually, I think when you're expecting it to come up, like, you know, you're, you're, you're going here, you click this, you go, okay... And then you can see all of these different filter things. Like if these were always there, it would be messy. But I think the fact that they come up when you need to, I, I think you'll teach yourself to expect them. And I actually think they look pretty good personally. And I like when you rotate them, I think they look good as well. Anyway, uh, basically this shows the current filtering. Um, what would be cool is if when you do this, you could actually say, it would say like 4.0 plus however much this filter adds, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but I actually quite like this. Uh, you can see that this one now has filters of 22 and 20, uh, which gives it a, in fact, we can now hover over this and it will say the estimated final water quality is 100%. So uh, we can move this off to another tank uh, later, but for now we'll just leave it. Okay, cool. So that's those. Um, we've also got a bit of an overcrowding problem, as I mentioned earlier, and we will deal with that later once we've um, added a new tank. These two, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, so that's just one of those context sensitive things. So if I bring up these, you can see that you get the sizes. When, you, when you're placing a fish, you get the capacity for all of your tanks rather than just the ones that are overcrowded. So I can immediately see that these two could fit a little bit more. And I think it's, it's kind of boring and I hate that these are at the front. So I kind of want these to be better fish, but you know what? Maybe we can put some tangs at the front and then we move these demoiselles back to the back because these tanks do eventually grow to a size of four and that's the size of these two tanks all right we'll do that we won't bother filling these up right now because it's a waste um and i don't want more of these zerd demoiselles because they're the most basic fish in the game okay on to the next feature so um this is the management tab i've shown you a couple of times it's just a way of finding your staff when they're not in your actual aquarium um, I, I'm thinking about having actually like along the top here, maybe having the portraits of all your staff so they're really easy to find. Um, just something I'm thinking about, but you know, I guess you can always find it from this window so it's not that bad. I'm also thinking of changing this into instead of a grid into a list. So that say it'd go Rachel, Verity, Fred, and then across here it would show you some information. You'd actually be able to tweak some of their priorities directly uh, via this, so rather than having to open up all the windows. So that would be pretty cool. But uh, talking of priorities, you're like, what the hell are priorities? So these are our um, aquarists. And I've added now to their skill that this skill affects how quickly they can do tasks um, associated with that skill. And these will grow over time eventually. It's just, you know, not especially important right now. And on the left here, you can actually see these are, this is the priority, okay? So currently they all have a priority of one, but if we click this, we can uh, increase a the priority and it goes all the way up to um, three, right? Oh, and you can also get rid of the priority completely, which means they just will not do the task ever. So Fred is good at cleaning. So we're gonna make him prioritize cleaning. Rachel's good at feeding. So she, we're gonna make her prioritize feeding. Verity's good at both, but we want feeding to be done um, most basically um, because if you don't feed your fish they get a bit unhappy it's going to have an effect on their ability to gain stats whereas if we don't clean the thing yeah it's going to affect our water quality but we can we can deal with that for a little bit of time um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to make Rachel who's no good at cleaning anyway and cleaning takes a long time by the way and so it's actually I mean this the difference between one and two is about 10 percent but, you know, it's, it's maybe like 10, 20 minutes of the day, so it's, it's, it's worth it. I'm actually going to make it so she never cleans. She just feeds, because uh, I don't want her to waste her time cleaning, basically. Um, so this is a pretty nice thing. We've got two people who will clean, these two, and we've got two people, uh, all of them will feed, but Fred will only do it after any cleaning jobs have been done. Um, now, that's, that's the first thing, so that's pretty useful. But I've also added a, a second tool, which is, I'm calling it zoning. So, or staff zones. So currently these guys will all work everywhere, but if we click on this drop down box, we can create a new zone, which means that they will only do tasks that exist within the given zone. So Fred is gonna work everywhere because he's our cleaner. He's gonna go and do clean out all the filters. Uh, we want him to go everywhere. Um, you know, this is interesting. Yeah, we need another tap somewhere because this, anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted. 
<laughs> I was just thinking for Fred, if he's going to do all the things, he's going to be like cleaning out this one, going back to the tap, cleaning out this one, going back to the tap, going back round to here. Um, which is kind of um, laborious. So we need to add some more taps. But anyway. Um, but the feeders, right? These guys could certainly be assigned to certain zones to stop them walking. I'll, I'll give you a really a good example of what um, what sometimes happens. They come in, they these get fed nice and quickly, and then one of them comes over to here, and then one of them goes over to here, um, and maybe one of them goes to here, and then this one finishes, and then this is the one that they're closest to, so they end up coming to this one. Um, and then this person ends up going all the way over to this one because the one next to them is no longer available. So by giving them a zone, we can um, we can basically make them act cleverer than they, they kind of are. Because uh, I've deliberately made the staff follow these pretty simple rules, which is generally based on um, priority and proximity. So assuming they don't have a higher you know assuming all of the feeding tasks are the same priority and you know they, they've already decided they're going to do cleaning before feed uh, sorry feeding tasks I can't remember I just I think I just said cleaning instead of feeding but anyway I'm talking about feeding tasks so if they're all the same priority and they they have a higher feeding priority than the cleaning they're gonna do a feeding task but then they just base it on proximity which is pretty dumb um, dumb in terms of uh, you know they're not gonna use any additional um, criteria uh, and yeah, so, so, and I think yeah, the main one is basically, is, is actually sometimes we want to stop them going to certain places. For example, whoever cleans this one shouldn't clean this one, because that's much less efficient than the person who's already here doing it. Um, and once the task is assigned, it stays assigned. So, I think what we're going to do is make these two, um, what are we going to do? Let's make, let's make Verity, these are big tanks, let's, let's, let's create a new zone here. Alright, and we drag this out, okay. Um, so that's zone one. I think we can make. Hmm, we'll give Rachel a second zone. Something like this. Um, trying to work this out. If Fred's cleaning, then these two have a chance of not getting fed. So I think we should make these maybe shared ones. So we're going to put this into zone two. Um, you can kind of see that there. But we can actually also, if we click edit, we can bring up zone one. And you can see basically green means a, a different zone. Blue is a zone you've already got. These colors aren't final. None of the UI is final. Um, I'm looking at this now going, wow, these, these zones kind of blend in with the walls a bit too much. So I'll probably change that. But what we can do is there, we've actually now added this to both zones. It, can you see how that's gone slightly slightly turquoise? That's because it's actually a blue with a green on top. That's actually deliberate. I think we could probably choose the colors better so that um, it's more clear that you've got overlapping zones. But the point is that um, this is um, zone one and it's zone two. So that basically either of them can go to those. And you've noticed that what I've done is I've not just made them so you assign a space to an individual staff member. Um, you actually create a zone, and I've tried to make it as nice and easy as possible. I've worked quite a lot on this uh, last couple of days. So the reason I've done it like that is now if you hire another staff member, pretend Fred is another staff member, you can now just assign them directly to an existing zone, right? And now he's... Um, He's on the same zone as Rachel, and you can see both of these edits highlight because you're actually changing both of them. But we're going to put him on everywhere, uh, which you can't edit because that's everywhere. So um, yeah, I think that's going to be cool. So basically, once you have these kind of, you can imagine you have these zones of, of, of tanks in these rings all over your thing. You know, this once you expand, this becomes a ring of tanks. This becomes a ring of tanks. This becomes a ring of tanks, perhaps. Um, then you can have each of these as a zone and then you know if you need a few extra staff members going to that particular one then you can just hire another staff member assign them to the zone really simple you don't have to keep on assigning the same zones to the same staff members which is something in roller coaster tycoon i realized uh, replaying it recently uh, something that was a little bit laborious because you needed a lot of handymen and zoning was very is a very efficient way of, of doing your handyman but um yeah, clicking out all the zones for them all individually was 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 laborious, you know. Um, now we can do it like this. There we go. So hopefully this works. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have to redo all of that. Uh, so we're going to start the the day. Okay. So basically, everyone's going to get their food. Um, 
this needs cleaning. So Fred is going to go directly to here and he's going to get a bucket and then he's going to go to here. So you can see we're definitely going to need a new tap because this is really, really long. Now, um, I think they've, yeah, they've already fed these two. So now they're going off to their zones. Can you see Verity's coming to clean these two, uh, sorry, feed these two. Uh, and R Rachel is going to do this one. And now she's still got a bit of food left. She's going to come and do these two. And luckily this is, this is there's a feeding box here so she'll run out of food then she'll get some more and then she'll do this one uh, and there we go Verity's done that and I, if you guys watched last time um, I'm pretty sure every now and again someone didn't get fed and so you can see um, the difference here uh, we're, we're doing it quite easily uh, and again by, by, by prioritizing feeding these two tanks have just sorry filters have just started um, up but now Verity's going to drop down onto the uh, filter task which is pretty cool and she's going to do this one um, but if we didn't have it like this there was a chance that everyone would start trying to clean up filters which is very time consuming and then um, the the last feeding wouldn't be done that's interesting oh right I thought that was hovering over this one but it was hovering over this one there we go so all the jobs are done by three o'clock we've definitely made our thing more efficient that means we can expand and not worry about fish not getting fed so Let's expand a little bit more. And that's basically it for this week, guys. I have... Oh, you know what, though? I have also done some... Um, I've done some stuff. How much money? I've got quite a lot of money. Let's, let's kind of do this. Um, to do with the way people walk. I'll talk about that for a little bit. All right. Well, <laughs> maybe later. Oh, I forgot everyone's uh, pretty much fed except Charlie. Okay. So... Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't whisper when I'm on there. <laughs> Don't whisper when you're doing a vlog, Tim. It's kind of... Kind of vlogging 101. Um, so I've done some stuff with the, the way people walk. Uh, I didn't realise, but there was some pretty bad pathfinding stuff going on where people were even being encouraged to walk via the most um, wiggly routes possible rather than straight routes. Uh, which was kind of stupid. Um, I've got, I've changed that. I've made them so it, it, it directly incentivizes staff to walk in straight lines now, uh, which is pretty cool. And um, I've also changed them so they, they kind of start walking a bit quicker. They don't wait till they're facing directly. They they will actually turn while walking now. Um, I will do one more day after this to show you that, and then I'll wrap this vlog up. Um, so something like this. I mean, I might as well just go for one of these big ones. I don't really lose anything from doing it. Um, like eventually, like I said, I've said before, you, you'll need to build platforms, but uh, we don't have to do that yet. So let's just cheat. <laughs> uh, we've got this extra filter over here. Now remember, this one it has so many fish in that it needed a really big filter. So it's just something to bear in mind that this filter might not be quite enough unless we give it some. Oh, I forgot I got some little ones in the store. Um, unless we give it some additional rocks to kind of boost it up something like that um let's move these guys over yeah I don't I uh, I've decided to not quite give up but I'm just not gonna do any more on the kind of moving stuff around for a little bit because I think there's more important stuff um, we we're gonna get a couple of tangs for these two get them growing and then this is slightly over capacity but you know what, everyone's pretty happy. I mean, they're losing five from the overcrowding, but that's not too bad. You know what I could do is I could move one of these guys in here and then move this guy back. And now um, this has got a capacity of eight. These guys are all full. This guy will get to three eventually. So three, four, five. Oh, he's already at three. So we've got seven left over. Um, let's get a lionfish. I don't think we've got one of those yet. That'll only grow to a three, won't it? Um, now, in real life, he, well, actually, no, he's okay because they're the same size. But potentially, once this lionfish gets to uh, gets to full size, uh, there's a chance that they'll he'd uh, eat the other fish. Um, I can't wait till I get that into the game. Got to get that in at some point soon. Um, yeah, there we go. I think that'll do for now. Let's let's see how that goes. Oh yeah, I think we want to add another tap here, and I think possibly another tap at the back here. Actually, I can do that. I can put a tap here because the filters are actually accessed from all sides when it comes to cleaning them out. Okay, let's go. Oh, pause. You, so you can edit this stuff during the day, but basically 
this isn't assigned to anyone, so what we're going to do is edit zone 2, and we're going to drag this out there. Um, yeah, I can't remember how it's done, actually. I think, yeah, at the moment it needs a particular square of this to be in the zone, so you have to be careful to make sure it's over the entire... Um, oh, God, I just deleted it. <laughs> over the entire tank. What I will do eventually is make it so if even a single tile of a tank is within the zone, then it will, um, it will count. All right, let's go. Let's see how well our prioritization works. Um, so Fred is going to go straight to do cleaning. Um, so let me show you the walking. So uh, they'll go through there. Let's watch her. She's turning. That's fine. That's pretty normal. Um, let's just keep watching Rachel because I can't keep my eye on all of them. So there. She, do you see? She turns half and then she kind of started walking a bit early. And then she just did it in a kind of arc like that rather than... Um, you see, it just means they get going a little bit quicker, and eventually, you, if there's a diagonal, she will actually, um, she will actually not even, like, turn, she'll, she'll just t keep, keep walking, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, Fred's gonna go and get another tap, because, you know, these filters keep clogging up, and remember, minus 25 filter power means that actually this will be dropping the water quality. So as soon as this goes below 65, these guys aren't going to be so happy. So, you know, he's going to have to get that cleaned. Um, but yeah, definitely the people are walking a lot more. Um, kind of neater, quicker. Uh, it's quite cool. Um, it'd be nice. I do actually have these in my version. I have these... What time is it? 3 o'clock. Oh, God, it's getting quite close. See, this is when... Uh, it'd be good if she was um, feeding these guys. But this, this is the... This is the problem, basically, with the zoning. It's like, you do make them a little bit, little bit more efficient, but possibly Rachel's got a little bit too much to do. Um, so I think possibly what I'll do is edit, and we'll actually remove these ones. So only um, only Verity is going to go going to do those um, those central ones. Because she's only got two tanks, so it's kind of crazy to make them share them all. All right, uh, and these guys grow. So yeah, we did manage to feed everybody, and we managed to get all the tanks cleaned. Oh. Everyone's grown. This is now <laughs> oversized again. But anyway, that's that's it. I'm going to leave it there. Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. And I will see you next week. Cheers. Bye-bye.